Oh, China is making final preparations for its sixth lunar mission at the Wenchang Space Center in Hainan. A Long March 5 rocket carrying the Chang'e 5 probe is expected to launch at the site on Tuesday early morning between 4 and 5 a.m. local time. And the personnel there have started injecting the rocket propellant. Chang'e 5's task is to collect and bring back about 2 kilograms of rocks and dust from the moon's surface. If successful, it will be the first time in four decades that any country has done so. Chinese space officials say the Chang'e 5 mission will be one of the most complex and difficult space tasks the country has carried out so far. And now let's get the latest from our reporter Li Jianhua, who's following the latest from the launch site in Wenchang. Hello there, Jianhua. I'm sure excitement is starting to build up over at Wenchang. Give us the latest from the launch pad. Yeah, right, Mang Mang. Uh, the city now is buzzing with excitement, and just now you said this is uh, the final preparations for the launch. And now behind me, I think you can see the uh, white smoke uh, around the uh, launch pad, and the rocket so far has been enclosed uh, for the past week. And we arrived a week ago when the rocket was moved onto the launch pad, and now we have entered into the final phase of this uh, upcoming launch. And of course, uh, we have been staying here for the whole afternoon and now it's getting dark and when it comes to the weather and we say that the weather conditions would make all break the rocket's launch and now today is a little bit cloudy and just now it was drizzling and it's windy but according to the meteorological station here at the launch site it is unlikely to affect the upcoming launch. Mamang. Sure and just to remind those who might not have been following the story we mentioned that this is one of the most complex and difficult tasks for China's space mission. What makes this launch so important, Jehua? Yeah, Mama, it is actually quite important when it comes to China's space exploration, especially in the area of lunar exploration. We know that that will be the first lunar sample return mission for China. And if we look at the process, the uh, lunar probe is comprised of four parts, an orbiter, and a sender, a lander, and a returner. So on the surface move, when the uh, whole lunar probe lands on the moon's surface, the lander will get some samples and put them in the vessels attached to the ascender. So so that will be totally automated the first time for China. And the standard will take off from the moon's surface automatically also the first time. And we will have a rendezvous with the orbiter and the returner. And they will, as a whole, come back to the Earth at one point before entering the Earth. Uh, they will separate and the returner will be landing somewhere in North China, in Mongolia, in about 20 days' time. We know that over the past 70 years, actually, starting the 1950s, over 50 lunar probes have been sent to space. And China. Now, if successful this time, it will make the country the third in the world to complete this task of extracting some material from the moon's surface after the United States and the former Soviet Union. So we can see that it is quite important for China now. Mama? Absolutely. And we do hope it's our systems go there at Wenchang.